first ever plush. So this is Stella the Starry Bat and she is a keyring as well as a really cute little soft toy. I'm really happy with how she came out and I hope you guys like her too. I've never done anything like this before so this is really really exciting for me um, and I really hope that she does well. I never thought I'd be able to get my art made into a cute little soft toy but I have and I'm so happy about it. Thanks to you guys for supporting my YouTube channel and my shop I've been able to make her. For getting a soft toy manufacturer is quite a long process so I was really really excited when this sample arrived um, I had a few different samples made um, but then I got the final one sent to me um, so here is my first reaction of opening the box so I've been busy all weekend but I've just gotten home and this was waiting for me so I'm gonna open it up and show it to you guys uh, I'm really happy with how this came out in the photos here is my uh, bat keyring of Stella the Bat uh, I'm really happy with how she looks. I think she's really sweet. She's quite big actually, she's got a really big wind span, but I think that's still really cute. And I'm really happy with how she is. So actually I'm holding the wings now and there's some wire in there, so they're bendable. So I didn't know that actually. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute with the face. I'm really happy with her. So one thing I didn't know about Stella is that she, my manufacturer gave her movable wings. This was a huge surprise to me as I had no idea that they were doing this, but I'm really happy with it um, because it means you, can, you know you can bend her wings and put them in any position, which I think is super cute and super fun. And it made for making a great animation to introduce her to you guys. I used my green screen so I could easily edit out the background. I just moved Stella's wings around and took individual photos. I wanted to make it look like she was bursting out of a star, unfolding and then flying. So I used Toon Boom to add in the stars and the 2D animation. Then I used Premiere Pro to put it all together and edit out the green screen. It took some time, but I think it looks really cute. There were several different samples of Stella. I only received the last one, the finished one, but this is what the other ones look like. So this is the first sample. As you can see, the wings don't really look that good. They were printed on, they weren't embroidered, and I really didn't like the material either. However, I did really like the face. I also needed the feet changing and the inside of the ears too, so there was a lot of work that needed to be done to this one. But it's okay, because it was just the first sample. The second sample had a huge amount of improvement done to it. I really, really loved the new wings and the feet were so much better too. Plus the inside of the ears were perfect. The only thing I didn't like about this one is that the body wasn't quite as round as I wanted it to be. So for this sample, I was a little bit more disappointed in it. I really, really loved the body, but I felt like the head had for some reason got a lot wider and I wasn't really happy with it. So obviously I asked my manufacturer to fix that and then we got this sample. So this is actually the photo of the final sample that I've got now. I'm really happy with how it looks. It's so much better than some of the other samples and I'm really happy um, with the final product. I've got a bit of an unfortunate update. The whole manufacturing process was going really, really smoothly but unfortunately there has been a bit of an issue which means that I won't be able to start pre-orders um, like I wanted to. So I'm probably gonna wait until I know that the bats are on the way to do pre-orders just in case there are any more issues. And it's a pretty big one, um, so the factory can't get hold of the same fabric. The pink of Stella bat, they just can't get it. Um, they're trying to find some of it, but it means that the whole process is gonna be slowed down, um, which is really, really annoying because I wanted to have these ready before Christmas, but now it looks like I probably won't. I'm currently talking to them and trying to figure out a solution, but it does look like I'm probably going to have to pick a different shade of pink. Um, I'm hoping to get one as close as possible, um, but there might be uh, too much of a difference. We will see. I'm really annoyed because, you know, they made the samples and they made it seem like they'd had enough of this fabric, but I guess they didn't. They are thankfully looking into it and trying to find more for me, but 
I don't know how successful they're going to be. I have asked if there's another solution. So as they were able to make the samples, it looks like they do have some of the pink fabric available. Um, so I'm gonna see if I could actually make another color of the bat um, as well. So there'll be a pink cell of the bat and um, she can have a friend. Um, that's another color, which I think will actually work out better for me because it means that you guys have more of a choice um, color wise of what bat you'd like. Um, but I haven't heard back from them yet. So I'll have to keep you updated. I'm really annoyed about this because I was so excited, as you can see in the earlier clips, um, to be able to get this um, bat out you guys um, you know they've only told me this th we're three weeks into the manufacturing process right now and that's really disappointing because they told me it would take 28 days for them to manufacture it obviously I knew things could go wrong but um, three weeks is quite a lot when it's supposed to only take a month um, so it's gonna take a long time unfortunately um, so I don't feel comfortable taking pre-orders right now when I can't really promise at all um, when you know they're gonna be available for me to sell to you guys fingers crossed things change um and you know we manage to sort things out um and i will try and keep you guys updated um i will definitely update you guys on instagram and probably throughout my studio vlogs and i will try to remember to update my youtube community page too um I don't know how, whether I will or not because I'm not great. So make sure you are following me on Instagram, which is linked down below in the description and have your notifications turned on for my posts and stories. Yeah, <laughs> so it's a huge shame, um, but you know, it could work out and we might be able to use the same fabric and then I could also get different colored bats made as well, which I think would be quite fun, um, but I don't know whether or not they'll do that for me. Um, so we've just got to wait and see, unfortunately. Um, and sorry to anyone who bought, did want a pre-order. I'm, I'm really annoyed that I've let you guys down um, and that we're not able to do it yet. But, you know, it's my first time making a product like this. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm not taking your money when I can't provide the right thing to you. And I want to make sure that, you know, I'm 100% ha happy with how the final colour turns out um, if we can't use the current colour. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please do give this video a thumbs up anyway. Um, I know it's ended in a bit of a disaster, but um, it's just one of those things. And you know, at least I'm learning um, and we'll be able to get a Stella the Bat out eventually. It would be amazing if you could leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of Stella. I'd love to hear what you guys think so I can then go and approve my products um, in the future. My shop links are down below too if you wanna go and check them out and grab any of my other products. I do have a few Stella um, themed pieces on my website if you wanna grab them. I've got this wooden pin um, and this mug um, and I think there's some stickers there too if you wanna get any of them. Um, that would really help me out. So yeah, I'm sad to be leaving this on a bit of a sad note after the last few weeks have been so crazy and exciting about getting ready to launch Stella the Bat. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to do it very, very soon. Um, probably after New Year, but you know, it could happen <laughs> before then. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.